Imagine you want to export your Figma animation and hand it over to the developer. How can you do that in Figma? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to export your Figma animations with one click. Let's dive in. So here, as you can see, I already created two different frames and inside each frame, I have three different shapes. Okay. So I already created a simple prototype. As you can see, these two frames are connected and I'm going to show you how I created it step by step. But before I do that, let me show you how you can actually export this interaction. So in order for the developer to be able to use your animation, you need to find a way to convert your animation to code. How can you do that? Is it possible in Figma? Well, unfortunately not using the native features. However, we can use a plugin called Lodi. So here I am going to look for the Lodi file plugin. There it is. I'm going to run it. If this is your first time using it, you need to sign up first and then you can use all its features. And now I'm going to head over to the export to Lodi tab. Right here it says select prototype flow. So from this drop down menu, I'm going to select this flow that I already created. I'm going to select flow two. And as you can see, it's rendering my prototype perfectly. You can also control the speed of your animation just like this. And once you're happy with it, you can either insert it as a GIF into your project or you can save it to your workspace. So I'm going to hit save to workspace. And from here, I'm going to choose this folder and hit save. Perfect. Now, if I head over to the workspace tab right here and I go to this first project file, I can see all my animations and I can open it up here and I can also customize its color right here. You can customize it easily. But how can the developer use this animation? Let me show you how. I'm going to click on this little icon to open my dashboard, Lottie dashboard. And right here, you can preview this animation. On the right side, you can see this download and export section. Here you have an option to export it as a Lottie JSON file. This is the file format the developer can use in the implementation process. So you can just simply download it and just send this JSON file to the developer. But that's not all. I'm going to show you one more cool feature of this Figma plugin. So here, imagine you have an icon just like what I have here. This is an SVG icon. And as you can see, we have these two paths. So imagine you want to animate this icon without creating a prototype in Figma. What you can do is select this frame and run this plugin. Head over to export to Lottie tab and now hit export to Lottie button. And just like this, it tries to animate these two layers for you. You can change the type of animation like this. I personally prefer this one, trim path, just like that. But it's way too slow, so you can just increase the speed. You can just click here like this, or you can just open up the settings. And from here, just adjust the duration. I'm going to decrease it to 60. Yeah. It looks good. And also here you can adjust the type of animation. Here we have two different options, sequential and parallel. So I'm going to set it to sequential now, just like this. You can adjust it depending on your needs. Now I'm going to save it to my workspace and that's all. Now I'm going to show you how I created this prototype because it's a little bit tricky to make it work. It doesn't work with all types of shapes and frames. Okay. First of all, if you want to export your prototypes using this plugin, you need to be aware that currently it doesn't support frames. So basically you need to animate shapes. If I go ahead and create a simple frame here and inside this frame, let me just remove the fill. And inside this frame, I try to create another frame as my first rectangle here. It won't work because it cannot recognize this particular frame. Instead, what you need to do is create a rectangle. So I'm going to draw a simple rectangle here. You can make it rounded just like this and then just duplicate it two times like that. Now I'm going to duplicate this frame. And I'm going to select this middle rectangle, just decrease its opacity down to 0%. Then I'm going to select this bottom one, rotate it by 45 degree. Now I'm going to select this top one. I'm going to rotate it by minus 45 degree like that. And just select them both. Hold down the shift key to select them both and just align them both horizontally and vertically, just like this. Now we can create our connection. So I'm going to select this frame five, head over to the prototype tab and just connect it 
to this one and you might say that all right the trigger looks good and click and then you can just set the animation to smart animate next you can just select this one and connect it back to the previous frame and you don't need to change anything well if you just preview this prototype it works in figma let me show you it works perfectly however this plugin cannot export it properly let me show you why if i just run the plugin now let me head over to the export to lottie tab and from here i'm gonna select my flow 3 this one that we just created and look what we get you see it's not working properly that's because of two reasons first of all here we created this rectangle and we made it rounded. We just increased this corner radius value. Currently this plugin doesn't support the corner radius property. So let me show you a little trick. So here I'm gonna select all these shapes and just right click on one of them and then click on outline stroke, okay? Once you do that, as you can see, the corner radius value is set to zero, okay? So we eliminate that issue. We need to do that for these shapes as well. Keep that in mind. I'm just gonna right click here and just click on outline stroke. But there is another issue. Let me run this plugin once again and let's select flow three like this. As you can see, it doesn't work properly. The other issue is the type of trigger I used. So for this prototype, I used a click trigger, okay? So we need to change this trigger to after delay and now it will work properly. Let me just select this interaction as well and just change the trigger to after delay. And I'm gonna select this flow once again and it should work just fine. There it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have a great day and see you soon.